Hey, Kate from Literary Explorations, and it's time for In My Mailbox. In My Mailbox is a way to show books that you got from the library, um, got for review, received from other bloggers uh, via trade, and ones that you bought yourself. I'm currently doing a buying ban, so I haven't bought anything um, since January. I do have about four books to show you that I bought. Um, but I bought them before I actually formally declared my buying ban. So I got the Hunger Games box set. Uh, my school was having a Scholastic Book Fair and I could not resist picking up my own copies of these because I really, really wanted a paperback set and only Scholastic um, has them available. And then also because of school, I got Super Sad True Love Story by Gary Scheingart. I have no idea what this is about, but it's for my English class, so I had to buy it. And then for you, I got some. These are all my Nook from NetGalley. I've got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella, The Academy by Suzanne Dunlap, and The Bungalow by Sarah Gio. So, very excited for all of those, especially The Academy, because it's historical fiction. I'm really psyched. I uh, went to the library and got a ton of books that I shouldn't have gotten because I have plenty to read of my own but I couldn't resist. I was talking to Ashley at Basically Amazing Books last night online and she was telling me about the award winning reads challenge which I signed up for but I just haven't got around to actually doing it. So she recommended uh, The Disreputable History of Frankie Landau Banks by E. Lockhart for the Prince Award um, part of the challenge. So I'm going to hopefully try and get around to reading this one. And then another Prince Award winner that I wanted to check out uh, is John Green's Looking for Alaska. So both these look like they'll be really good and they'll help me with my challenge. So yay. I got Cold Kiss by Amy Garvey in a uh, giveaway from Christina over at the Confessions of a Book Addict. So, very excited to reread this one. I've actually already read it, but I want my own copy. I don't have it with me right now, but I traded with Megan over at Book Brats and got an ARC of Cinder. So, thank you, Megan. I still haven't gotten around to reading it, but I will soon. Um, it's actually on my uh, TBR list for this month. And then my infamous library trip continues. I saw um, two books by Siobhan Vivian and very excited for the list to come out because I really liked um, Not That Kind of Girl. I thought it was fantastic. So I got A Little Friendly Advice, which I think is her very first book. So I'm excited to read that one, see how her writing style has changed. And Same Difference. So, and they're both like the cute little like size, like Not That Kind of Girl is, so I'm pretty excited to read that. Read both of those. And I picked up Endless Summer by Jennifer, eh, Jennifer Eccles. I cannot say her name for some reason. Um, Ginger over at G Reads um, is a huge Jennifer Eccles fan. And I read Love Story, um, I think, as a e galley, and I really liked it. So I thought I'd give one of her other books a try. And this is actually a bind up, it's um, the first book and then a sequel. It has The Boys Next Door and Endless Summer. Never Sit Down on a Hoop Skirt and Other Things I Learned in Southern Bell Hell by Cricket Rumley. I saw this one um, advertised, um, probably, I think it came out last year. And it looked really interesting, and since my library had it, I decided to pick up a copy. I got Pawnee, The Greatest Town in America by Leslie Nope. Uh, I still can't believe they actually made a real a real book out of this. Um, but my boyfriend and I watch Parks and Rec pretty religiously, so I'm going to have to share this one with him. The Season by Sarah McLean. I keep checking this book out like every couple months, and I don't get around to reading it, so I really need to read it this month. Because I really like all her other ones. Legend by Marie Lou. I'm not sure what it's about, except that's post-apocalyptic, and that's received amazing reviews. 
The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. This is a fantasy, um, and that's pretty much all I know about it. Um, there's a princess and a king, so um, there's a monarchy, so I like books with monarchies. So I thought I'd give this one a shot. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lonnie Taylor. Another one that I've heard great things about, and it's a, uh, well, she's a National Book Award finalist, um, so this one should probably be good. And I think this is my last one. Lastly, I got Ice by Sarah Beth Durst. Haven't heard anything about it, but it sounded interesting. I read the first couple pages, and I was hooked. And it says, would you risk everything for a fairy tale? So, that sounded interesting. So we'll see. Pretty sure that's everything that I got. Not necessarily this week, probably like over the last couple of months. And I'm, I'm going to try and read more and have more books available for you guys, or book reviews for you guys to read. And yeah, things are going better. A little less stressed. Spring break is coming up, and I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done. So let me know if you've read any of these books. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, feel free to comment on this IMM and leave your own links and I'll check yours out and hopefully comment. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend and get lots of reading done. Bye.